Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen and this is Hard Rock University. Now as you recall from lesson three, taking representative samples, it's very important when taking a large sample and making a small sample out of it that you do it in a representative manner. There's a number of ways of doing it, but the simplest and easiest one is something called a splitter. Now years ago I made a splitter and you've seen it in my previous videos. It was designed for smaller samples, but I modified it to where it worked on buckets, and it worked pretty well, so I just kept it that. However, a few days ago, my other half decided that the city of Tucson needed some more artwork. Um, if you know the city of Tucson, you'll know that they spend inordinate amounts of money on really ugly things, and then call it art, or as she's termed it, NART, for not art. Anyhow, her latest entry into this uh, field is this right here. And I think with a little bit of paint, maybe some liberal slogans painted on her to wherever, we can probably get five or 10,000 out of the city of Tucson. We're gonna give it a shot later. Anyhow, so I was left without a splitter. I've been playing over in my mind how to make one specifically designed for buckets. And in fact, uh, this gave me the motivation to go ahead and do something about it. So here we have the Integrated Small Mining Solutions Bucket Splitter. Um, this one hasn't been painted or anything like that. Weather's kind of ugly, so we want to get this video done quickly. Um, but it's specifically designed to take a bucket size sample of crushed rock, quarter inch minus or so, and split it down rapidly and easily. So let's see how well it works. And now we have something that's approximately the size you'd want to send off for a lab or maybe something you wanted like to do a, a hand pan, something like that. Now you're into that, that range. I'm not sure how long it took. I'll review the video, but it was clearly less than a minute. Anyhow, compare that to cone and quartering or something which would have taken 10, 20 minutes. It's a lot easier, a lot quicker. This particular splitter is specifically designed to use buckets, as that is the internationally recognized unit of small mining. As such, it's narrower and has fewer chutes than a lot of splitters, um, which means it's slightly less statistically accurate, but it's a whole lot better than anything else that's simple to do and a whole lot better than nothing. So this, we, we like to be selling this for less than $100. I'm not sure exactly how much at this point uh, because I'm using tooling that's not specifically designed for this. Once we get the, the tooling for it, the labor is going to go down dramatically. But it's stout, it's built out of 18 gauge steel, and uh, it does the job efficiently and quickly. So if you need to split samples, you know, taking big samples like plaster concentrates, crushed hard rock, whatever and turn it into a smaller sample for assay or analysis. This is a great little device. We're currently not in production on anything at the moment. We're kind of gearing up. But if anyone needs one, get in touch with me and we can whip one out. It's no big deal. Thank you very much. Happy prospecting and keep it safe.